Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Python libraries in Power BI framework. Power BI as such is a very powerful and rich visualization tool. It meets the requirements for 90% of the cases. However, there are some situations where it is better to use a library like Seaborn that is available in Python. The example that I am going to take is a case of insurance sector where we are trying to determine the insurance charges based on six factors age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, and region. As part of this, I want to understand what is the relationship between insurance charges and age, insurance charges and sex, insurance charges and BMI, so on and so forth. That is, I want to study the relationship between dependent variable and each of the independent variables. I am essentially going to use the concept of scatter plot. However, I want to see the relationship of all these variables, all the scatter plots in one single visual. So I can understand what is going on in my data set. This kind of visual is not readily available in Power BI. It is advisable to make use of a library like Seaborn, which is what we are going to do in this session. Okay. First, let us upload our data. And after that, we will get started with the next set of steps. Uh, I'm going to upload the data set now. We are not going to do any transformation in this data set. We are going to straight away load the data set into Power BI. Okay. We are going to select the Python visual that is available here. Uh, we will be doing the coding in Python script editor area and the visual will be displayed in the screen above. Okay. When I say we are going to write codes, don't think that we are going to write uh, many lines of code. It's going to be just few lines of code. The first step is to create a data frame. As you may already be aware, the data frame is the structure that is available in Pandas that is used to handle tabular data. So we first need to select the columns that we want in our data frame. The moment I click age, you see here a data frame is being created with the field age. And uh, we are naming the data frame as a data set. And this data frame comes from the concept of pandas. Right? So we need to add uh, additional variables that we want in our data frame. I am going to select all the variables. Now I will type the necessary codes for the purpose of developing the visual. I am going to import matplotlib.pyplot.splt, then seaborn as sns and using this single line of code sns.parplot, I am going to reference the data frame and that is named as data set and kind equal to reg and finally we will display the chart using plt.show as i mentioned earlier in the video please make sure that python is installed in your system uh, use the command prompt and install matplotlib seaborn using the pip install method please ensure that is completed otherwise power bi will show an error indicating that matplotlib module is not available or is not installed okay so to avoid that ensure the installation is complete in all aspects now we can go and run the code and we will click the button here we should have the graph very shortly okay let us minimize the python script editor so you can see clearly we will minimize these fields as well. If you see, uh, 
the pair plot has been developed or displayed for numeric variables in our data set. Our data set contained age, BMI, charges, children, region, sex and smoker. If you see region, sex and smoker, these are non-numeric variables. Sex is either male or female, smoker is yes or no and region is uh, north, east, west, south kind of inputs, right? So these three are non-numeric variables and we can't develop a scatter plot for non-numeric variables which is why you see the pair plot displaying the charts for age, BMI, charges and children alone. Okay, is this clear? And you see a histogram also. This is nothing but children versus children. This show the relationship between children versus age, children versus BMI, children versus charges. When it comes to children versus children, you can't show a scatter plot. Hence, it is better to show a histogram, right? Which is nothing but a frequency distribution. And if you see, there is also a line that is displayed here. This actually corresponds to the line of best fit. Okay. So the advantage with this chart is for all the num numeric variables in our data set, in a single visual, we can see the relationship. Right. If you see the charts here, the relationship is very poor, right? In these cases also, there is practically no relationship. Right. So just by looking at this chart, you can understand the kind of relationship that exists among the variables in our data set. Okay. And this kind of visual is not possible in Power BI currently, but it is possible using Seaborn in Python. Okay. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. And as you saw, we just wrote few lines of code right so even people who are not familiar with python right can attempt this right just few lines of code and you are able to get a beautiful visual like this okay